Two record-breaking moves have bookended a new dawn in the transfer market over the last few months. Everyone knew about the first one because you couldn't open your browser without reading about Neymar's move to PSG. But you may not have heard about the second one, or even know the man involved. He's the reason Dortmund have made more money from player sales than every club except Monaco over the last two years. And the reason Dortmund can afford to lose big name players to Man United, Barcelona and Bayern Munich and still have some of the best young players in Europe. Now Arsenal have decided that if they can't afford the most exciting young football talents on the planet, they'll get the man who finds them before they're big. Here he is, Sven Mislintar, the man set to lead the Gunners in football's recruitment arms race. And if you don't recognise him, I don't blame you. But he's there to make sure Arsenal bring in young stars and make big bucks if they ever have to sell them. This is not just about Arsenal and Dortmund, it's about every club who can't afford to drop 200 million on a player and the blueprint that can bring them success without that uber financial backing. We'll tell you why this is Arsenal's biggest signing in years, based on Mislintat's track record, how the club can use his work and why Arsenal is an even better place for him than Dortmund. That is, if they go back to playing younger players like they used to. This whole plan falls over if they don't have a coach who plays the mega-talented kids. If you've watched a Dortmund game in the last decade, you've enjoyed the fruits of Sven Mislintat's labour. He played a role in bringing the likes of Mats Hummels and Jakub Blaszczykowski to the club before making his big breakthrough with Shinji Kagawa. At that time, Kagawa was practically unknown. In fact, he'd only played 11 games in the Japanese top flight, which is why Dortmund got him for a measly £300,000. Just two years, 29 goals, two Bundesliga titles and one German Cup later, he left Dortmund for about 15 million. Not a bad return. That same summer Kagawa signed, Mislintat also convinced BVB to shell out about £4 million for Robert Lewandowski. He racked up over 100 goals in yellow and black before leaving for Bayern. And after that, he really started showing off. For his next trick, he brought in Ilkay Gundogan, and it didn't take long for him to become a key player. Mislintat also saw past Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's flaws, and after an inconsistent first season, he became one of the most lethal strikers in Europe. And then there's Usman Dembele. You remember Dembele, the raw winger Dortmund signed on Mislintat's recommendation with just one year of top flight football under his belt. I don't need to tell you what happened just 13 months later. No wonder they call Mislintat Diamond Eye in Germany. There's no doubt about the Super Scout success rate when it comes to finding players with huge potential. But would it work just as well at Arsenal? Well, the Gunners clearly think so. They've paid Dortmund a record £1.5 million to prize him away from the Ruhr club's grasp and about the same amount to the scout himself every year. And it's not hard to see why. We talked about Mesut Ozil's impending departure and Alexis Sanchez is in the same boat. Losing two players with their quality, possibly for no money at all, that's going to hurt. And it's not just an attack that Arsenal urgently needs some fresh blood. Per Mertesacker is retiring at the end of the season. By then, Petr Cech will have passed his 36th birthday, while Laurent Koscielny and Nacho Monreal will both be 32. Arsene Wenger has already been forced to play the likes of Sayo Kalazinak and Francis Coquelin at centre-back this season. The situation will only get worse if Arsenal can't bring in real quality in the next few windows. And it's not like Arsenal can just throw money at the problem. Despite making a profit on transfers in the summer, stories emerge that the club didn't have the cash for a showcase signing on deadline day, and rumours of a massive bid for Thomas Lamar were roundly ridiculed. So how do you respond to losing arguably your two best players with an ageing squad and not much cash to play with? That's right, you hire the best scout in the business. Mislintart has the goods and Arsenal need to buy. But why exactly does Mislintart need Arsenal? The reason is simple. He has the chance to do something scouts rarely achieve, becoming a cult hero credited with affecting real, tangible change. Arsenal fans are well and truly fed up with a setup that stinks of a conservative mindset. Even the Arsenal knows best lot think it's time for Wenger to go. His last contract extension nearly started a riot, even though he won the FA Cup. The man whose name was once a byword for innovation now seems too stubborn to change. And Wenger's still far more popular than Stan Kroenke and Ivan Gazidis. So there's space for a revolutionary figure to come in and put structures in place to make Arsenal a club that leads the way once again. If Mislintat can bring the change Arsenal fans are desperate for and unearth a few talents good enough to make Arsenal challenge for the league title again, then he would be celebrated in a way usually reserved for top players and coaches. And Arsenal's move to bring him in 
would become a model for clubs aiming to win the transfer market. And there you have it, Mislintart's incredible hit rate, Arsenal's impending squad troubles and their desperate need for a fresh approach could make this the most important decision the club has made in a long time. And if it works out, it's one everyone will be trying to copy. Or am I just getting too excited? Tell us what you think in the comments.